What's up everybody? I'm Eric making videos in Ecuador with my wife Sandy and in today's video we're visiting the Banos Parish of Cuenca. Banos is known for its natural thermal pools and spas. We decided to try the most recognized one, Piadre de Agua. In 2022 they were voted the best spa in the Americas. They're also the only spa to feature an underground thermal pool. You're literally in the bowels of an inactive volcano. They also have an amazing, luxurious restaurant, and the food was incredible. So what makes them the best? Join us and let's find out. Well, so we're exploring a different area of Cuenca today. We're in the Banos, like, subdivision or sector. The sun is out. It is super bright. Um, we came up here to see this beautiful church. It's gorgeous. Boom, can you see that thing? I mean, all the churches in El Centro are beautiful, but this one is just this beautiful, almost like indigo blue color. Uh, you couldn't get inside of it, but we were able to get a couple little videos from the inside, and man, it was gorgeous. It's huge. Yeah. It doesn't look as big. I mean, it looks big, you know, uh, vertical, but horizontally, it's very long. But yeah. Beautiful day, another beautiful area of the city. We're happy yes, to get out and explore so a little excited. bit. I know. So this place is beautiful. They give you robes, so I guess you're all tucked away, nice and comfy. You're all fancy. They're, uh, we got about an hour's wait, so we're doing the two for one cocktails, mm -hmm. mojitos. I got a maracuya Yeah, mojito. maracuya mojitos. That should be really Cause good. Cause I love me. passion fruit. Right? And, um, and then we go to the underground thermal spa tour. You get red mud, blue, blue mud. mud. There's a um, hot and cold, yeah, hot and cold. Ooh. Don't know about the cold. It's going to be for you. And then uh, they put you in the, you. they put you in the steam box thing. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> and then there's going to be like a salt exfoliation or something where they're yeah. going to, I guess, scrub us down Make real good. Skin but, smooth like a baby. But in the meantime, we get to hang out at the normal little, uh, pool, I guess it's, yeah. it's still, it's a thermal pool. It's a floating. So, that's a float. I, yeah. You float in it really good. So I guess it's like high salt. Yeah, this thing is so buoyant. It's almost hard to sit still. And can you hear the popping? I guess, I don't know. Maybe don't it's know. like naturally heated from the thermal, you know, I guess from under the ground craziness. I'm not sure, but it feels, it makes me believe that there's like this little crackling fire underneath the sea. <laughs> I know. And like underneath my foot over here, like you can literally like feel it. I feel like I one spot on my foot, I can feel it like popping underneath my foot and that foot's actually kind of warm. It's crazy. All right. Let's see if I can get my float on. Here. Nope. I sink. You float and I'll... Too heavy. You're not too heavy. <laughs> You're too work. Go ahead. I'm... I got too much, I got too many muscles. <laughs> <laughs> so float and then breathe in. I am breathed all the way in. I do not float. My, my, my floaties don't work. I can swim, I don't need to float. I can't hear you, I can only hear crackling. I know. I'm assuming it has to be like a steam vent underneath here or something. Like I said, I'm sure they don't heat this thing. It's just a, you know, it's a natural thermal pool, but craziness but yeah Sandy's a floater and I'm a sinker <laughs> all right now we're talking guys we got some uh, passion fruit mojitos look how cool they look got little flowers in them Sandy's over there getting a picture probably for the gram Try this thing out. Whoa, it's good. Fruity, strong too. This is the way I like them. The mojito is very, very good. It's it's refreshing. It's light. 
um, you can taste the, it's almost like you can taste it in sections. It's like in the beginning you can taste the lime, then mint, and then passion fruit. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, it's got fresh mint in it. Super good. And it's got a cute little flower in it. Enjoying those two for one cocktails again. They got Canilazo this time because mm. it's a warm cocktail. And when you get out of that thermal pool, it's freaking chilly. We for real. <laughs> but it's uh, it's aguadiente and some spices. I think it's got some cinnamon in it. It smells really, really good. It's like a big warm hug. Whew, they're strong though, man, but they're good. Yes. When you get the vapors from the hot agua de ente, it kind of opens your sinuses up a bit. Oh, it does, huh? For sure. Look at that. I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> The underground thermal tour began with the exfoliation treatment of the red mud, featuring minerals like iron, calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, and sodium. From the beginning, Sandy was definitely more experienced and comfortable with this type of self-care. I learned to let my guard down, be present in the moment, and just enjoy it. Next, we transitioned over to the Blue Mud Moisturizing Treatment that was full of minerals like quartz, gold, silver, and copper. For some reason, I was anticipating more of a Blue Man Group vibe. To me, this reminded me more of the gray clay that I would play with back in South Carolina on the creek banks as a kid. After that, we moved over to the Hot and Cold Pools, which they explained to us was known as Skin Gymnastics. So now we've transitioned to the hot and cold pools for circulation where you have to sit in here for eight minutes. Yep, they said about eight minutes and then you gotta go to the little freezing cold pool that's right beside us for a minute. I will like the frio agua. Oh yeah, but you can tell this one's salty too. Yeah. I can totally feel the minerals in it. Mm -hmm. you know, the way it's at. Not, it doesn't really sting, but you know, but you, if you've ever you know, had a mineral bath or that's salty, you know, no, it's kind just of spa bass. You can kind of tell I there's some tingling going on in my skin right yeah. now. Yeah. Ooh, that's over there. The hot water's coming in. I feel it. I'm <laughs> Right. But man, this place is great. It's oh my gosh. Unbelievable. It's way tranquil. Oh yeah, it is. It's much warmer over here. Wow. Yeah. Do you feel it over there? It's like really hot. I can feel it. <laughs> wow. You can check the vibe out of this place, right? So, it's Ooh. so... Oh, uh -huh. that's so cool! Well, you're not supposed to double dip in there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing myself. Right. For, for happiness. I like the surprise. <laughs> you know what? If you've ever been to Disneyland and you've been on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, that's what it feels like. It feels like <laughs> you're in the Pirates mm -hmm. of the Caribbean ride. I guess. It does. It does feel like you're in this cave. Because you feel like you're in the like cave. Cave, tunnel thing. It's really but you walking. are in a cave. You're literally in a cave. We had to walk underground to get here. No, we are underground. Like, you know, <laughs> you see, we got the cool little you know, ambient lighting in here and there's a little bit of soft music playing, oh, you know, it's so muy nice. tranquilo, so nice. very relaxing. So you're in this pool over here for the hot water. Oh gosh. And then that's... Did you show the flowers and the little colors and everything that they have on the walkway? So pretty. Muy lindo. It feels good. It might be taking my breath away a little bit right now, but it really does make me feel so much better. Well, I'm jealous. I'll check this out. Ooh. Ooh. 
It is colder than settled the gun in here. It's nice. <sighs> I'm glad it's only a minute though. It feels like the Colorado River. Oh, it does feel like yeah. the Colorado River in August. Yep. Oh, oh boy. My gosh. It's cold though, guys. Holy bejeez. Okay. See? Okay. That's that initial. But no, then smart afterwards. Enough. You know how it is. You jump in the pool. If you jump in or you tiptoe in. Mm -hmm. Go for the jump. Don't tiptoe. Right. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm coherent Oh my gosh, now. I moved. I moved. It's colder if you move. Okay. Get in the box. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Do you have control? Give me that. Oh yeah. Cool. You can put your arms okay. out. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, there's no back. Put your top. Like guillotine. <laughs> what the him? Oh yeah, yeah, but there's a control. So I'm um, yeah, assuming. Um, open. Close. Oh, see. Okay. Found. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Is it getting hot? Okay. A little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Am I going to be uncomfortable? I don't know, but I can't tell you that. It's not too hot. Remember, you have a controller, so you can close it. Where's the controller? Okay, okay see. Okay. I made it. <laughs> I survived. We have it. Oh, gracias, gracias. Now we're in the restaurant, we're gonna try some really great food. I messaged them so that they would have a vegan option for Sandy. Um, I ordered off the menu of beef tenderloin, should be incredible. So good. What kind of tea is it? I don't know, but it tastes, it tastes so good. It doesn't need any kind of sweetener. It's, it's perfect. What a way to end a perfect day. I skipped the tea, went with red wine, Cabernet. Yeah, pretty good. Dry, not super dry. Delicious. So how's the vegan dish they made you, babe? <laughs> and look what just showed up. This is beef tenderloin with a mashed potato, veg, asparagus, some cream sauce. Oh boy, you know it's gonna be good. Digging in straight to the meat. Oh yeah, it's got like a mushroom, it's got a mushroom cream yeah. sauce on it. That looks delicious. Let's see how this is cooked. Jump in there. Oh, it is medium rare. Yeah, it's a good medium. Medium rare. Yeah, it's yeah. More, that's more medium. medium. No. Yeah. But, oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice and juicy. Seasoned really, really well. Not overly salted. Mmm. Mmm. Try these potatoes out. It's good mash. They're very fluffy looking. 
Oh yeah, they're really good. Seasoned with some herbs, nice and buttery. Guys, this place is lights out. You have to come here for the spa and the food. I'm ruining this. This is so pretty. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know how you can make a tomato the perfect texture and sweet, a little teeny tiny sweet and savory all at the same time. Whatever herb they used, I know they used salt and pepper, but I can't even wait to taste the mushroom because if the tomato tastes as good as it does, the mushroom is gonna be out of this world. I can't even describe how good this tastes. It's like the filet mignon of freaking mushrooms. This is so good, you have to taste it. Right. Whoa, it is super good. Wow, oh wow. Yeah, I love a good portobello. It's got that good portobello chew to it. It's got a really good, you know, earthy feeling, but they seasoned it really well. The, Perfect amount of salt on it. Wow. Lights out. That is so good. So I was jealous of Sandy's two courses. You can get closer too, but it's okay. Um, so I ordered their shrimp ceviche. I have become such a huge fan of ceviche in Ecuador. It's one of their specialties. So let's put a little bit of this multi-in here. Some of these plantain Ooh, chips. Ooh, plantain chips. You gotta chips. put the plantain chips in there. Ooh, they got limon. Fresh lime. You gotta squeeze the lime on there. It's got red onion. You can see the red onion. I am so flippin' excited about this. I'm a huge seafood fan anyway. And ceviche, like I said, has really become one of my favorite dishes quickly. All right, so let's get in here. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. The shrimp are nice and soft, really tender. It's got that uh, tangy tomato flavor to it. Gracias. Mm. Mm. Really good herbs and spice. A little bit of cilantro in there. You can taste the fresh red onion. Wow. I'm glad you got two courses and I decided to order a second one, babe. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What are these crunchies? Mmm. Is it like a spice pear? Cinnamon pear? Mmm. You know how poached pear is like real soft? Mm. This has a little crunch to it still, but not real hard. The little crunches on the outside are crushed peanuts, and the sauce isn't overly sweet. It's just, it's like the right amount. I'm telling you, the chef here knows his stuff, his, her stuff. They're perfecto on every dish that I've had here. She's sharing. We're going to share desserts. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's great. It's not like too soft, so it's still got a little bit of crunch to it, so you can tell it's real super fresh. But that cinnamony spice and a little bit of crunch from the peanut is incredible. That makes it so, so tasty. Man, again, it's worth coming here for the food just as much as the spa treatment, guys.